There you go, fans. That's why uh, that's why you're not seeing Chris Austin right now. It's all yeah, Joe's blame fault. Joe. So I guess we're gonna have Sky Woodward playing the ghost. Oh, I mean Fedora Gorst. So, would you feel comfortable taking the loser of the flip in this match, regardless mm. of player? I think so. Uh, I just think that I think the racker becomes, or that whoever wins the flip becomes big favorite. Anything can happen, obviously. But these two guys are not gonna bicker over racks or anything like that. Like it's mm, just they like, actually might. You think so? Yeah, I, I I suspect that we'll have a a lot more time actually spent on the rack than the actual play. No, I'm saying like them questioning each other's racks. Like I don't think I don't I, think I'm, either player is gonna say anything about the other person. But here we go. The flip, and where it stops. <laughs> Oh, Skylar flings the penny across the table in disgust. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. We are ready. Can't believe Skylar you. Skylar Woodward ready. asking if we're ready. I think he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit it. You hit it with your hand. Obviously, I lost the flip. Yeah, I know he's on tilt. So right now, due to the penny, the penny is in the head of Skylar Woodward. He's got to let that go. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of world championships have been lost over that penny flip. How many makeable balls will be missed in this match? Hmm. If you, you know what, we should leave that up to the chat. We should just have like a little pool. I'm, I'm gonna say one. There'll be one shot that someone. Takes I would have to say it. one too. I would have to say at least one, <laughs> maybe more. Makes the wing ball. The cue ball got kicked, and it looks mm. like it's not going to scratch. He can see the one, but it doesn't look like it has an open pocket. And the safety here. I'm not going to speculate on a safety because these guys at this level come up with some safeties well, that I, yeah. just, I just don't even see. Looks like the way he was pointing with his cue, he could be planning on banking this cross he corner. May, he may push. I think uh, he might be trying to bank it up by the three ball. Cut it in the side. Bank it up by the three. Leave it tough. Hide him. Good shot. That That is a good shot. That's even a tough jump shot. Because to get the cue ball yeah, in the air. Yeah, I think he's just going. Yeah, and land that short, it's just not very likely. That wasn't bad. I think Scott might have been playing that cue ball behind that three and bumped it just a little hard. But the two balls hidden behind the nine three, so I'm wondering the plan of attack here. I guess back cutting, back cutting it. You might see it. You might another safe possibly. Yeah. Cue ball behind the five. Goes with the back cut. Look, the we've already seen our first. Missed mm. makeable ball, and that's out, and that's a makeable ball here in the first rack on the first ball. So we're on pace. <laughs> I think the only trouble now with this rack is the four ball, it looks like over on the rail to eight. Not that it's trouble for either one of these guys, right. but that, that would be the only thing that I am. If this is the two still up here, I think the two is going to be a little tricky. I know it's out in the middle of the table. But I think you're gonna bump something if you shoot this. If you when you cut this one, I think in. he cuts that one, and maybe uses a hair left and comes right down between that two and three. Don't, back down the table. He's definitely capable. And if he happens to hit the three, it, it, it would work out. The three ball's okay to. Bump he may here. be able to hit the one thick enough here that the cue comes down there naturally. Just yeah, he, just like that. He hits the nine. Gets a little funny mm. now that he has to shoot over a ball. I don't think the shot is too difficult, but the fact that he's glued to the three ball might be a little rough. Yeah, he's he's probably used to this though. He hits the eight, which hooks him from the four. Oh no, he's on the three. My mistake. I did not see yeah. the three ball. 
Now he had a very similar shot to that. Look at this. He's going to get right over there where he needs to be. He had a very similar shot to that. Um, in the Moscone Cup. Good shot. Now let's connect the dots. Getting straight really isn't ideal here, but I think he can handle it. Yeah, he, he shot that very well. Good shot. And gets exactly where you might put it with ball in hand. <laughs> Good shot. Get out by Skylar. And he breaks service. So by him winning that game, I think that just makes him a huge favorite for the set, which might sound a little over the top since it's just the first rack, but these guys break and run so easily. Right. Now let's see if uh let's see if this rack We'll we'll see if everybody's okay with this. Well, where's Chris at? Chris might be over the table watching. Yeah, this table people have been having a little bit of issues. Uh, Thank you, man. Problem. So, Fedor wins the la or wins the flip and the first break, but he does not win. And uh, I'm not sure what's on the table. <laughs> It does appear there. Yeah, the him he's beating up that coin again. The wing ball shoots right in, and we have. Mm, ooh, ooh. I think you can see the two, but a safe here is going to be a little rough. With a three slowing down the cue ball, if you try to play inside with the one ball, he's going to give this a good look. He may try to play safe behind that three. Oh, he's actually kicking at oh. it. Or he's pushing out. No, he is kicking at it. And maybe not his best effort, so ball in hand. And to me, it looked like he could see the whole ball on the left or right, but... He had a shot in mind that if, had he executed it the way he wanted, I'm sure it would have been a pretty good shot. Yeah. But even the best in the world are prone to make a mistake. But, I mean, have you ever made any mistakes playing pool? Um, you know, it's, you it's very, good... very rare that I make a mistake. Right. It's usually the equipment, like. Yeah, it's it's usually tip just, falls off or something. Exactly. Out of well, that sucks. Sometimes the balls break in half. True. Usually only on my break. He got a little straight he here. Got really straight. Oh, but he just shoots it to the outside of the pocket and gets straight in on the nine. You know, I don't know if he was trying to come down the table. I think he might have missed a little bit right there and got Possibly. good shape. Possibly. I mean, the last rack on the one ball, he, uh, you know, missed a shot that I know you could have made yeah, 10 times out of 10. Easily. Here we go. 2-2 two, two, or 1-1. One, one. Thank you, Herm. And we have, someone said the light is crooked. Well, Russ, I'll relay that message to our event coordinator, Daniel, <coughs> and he'll see if he can get that fixed. I'm here right now, and uh, <laughs> I don't see a light. Um, let's go to a different angle, then. Oh, well, there's the light. Let's see, let's see if the seven ball goes in the corner pocket. Just barely. That's Good break. That is a great break. Uh, 
I don't really see any issues. Two balls right there, kind of close to the pocket. The three might be a little funny. I don't know if it goes by the nine. But I'm sure after he shoots the two, he'll move the nine or the three. Um, This is not an easy transition shot here. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he banks it and just stops it right there for the two. There we go. So here... Are you are you moving the nine or the three? Or maybe he can just hit it lightly and shoot the three up table and not move anything. I think he has to bump something. Bumps the nine. Yeah, and you'll you'll these guys at this level sometimes rarely ever bump anything lightly because they don't want the table to roll off. They don't you know they don't want Right. They'd rather just leave everything alone. They would rather shoot the ball firmly execute a shot, uh, come to a rail and out. They try not to hold too much. Nice shot. Looks like he's on the wrong side of the six, but these guys have no problems with going up and down table. My only problem going up and down table personally is I always when it hits his bottom rail, I can't control which way it's going from there, but he's playing a two rail shape. Gets absolutely perfect unless he's stuck on the rail, but he will still be able to handle it. Yeah, that was a great shot. These guys are real good at punching balls also. Just that force follow kicks in, and next thing you know, they're straight in. Is there any chance he rattles this ball and gives Sky a one over there two? There is. Oh, he didn't do it there. Two on. Gorst, Skyler to break. See that one tiny error? It was a two-game swing by Skyler Absolutely. with his kick. Absolutely. We don't have re a replay here, but that'll be it. You're, you're pretty close with uh, Skyler, so you might have to, after this match, whether he wins or loses, ask Find him his thought, what, what thought he was process on that kick. And, you know, anybody out there in Evansville, you can stop by and watch this live at the pub right now. Odds, I mean, it doesn't have to happen, but odds are they could be, like, if, you know, this match will probably be over by the time you get here, but these two gentlemen more than likely will be playing again if they meet up in the grand finals. Um, he did break and run there, TJ. TJ's bringing up some great points. Like, do, do, you, do you have the break and run patches? Um, you know, I think Chuck Austin was going to bring those by. And he forgot? Yeah. Ooh, the eight ball was not wired, and it hangs in the hole, and we might have a dry break. Which he has froze to the five ball with no shot to the one, so we will see what kind of push-out shot that Mr. Gorst goes with. He's moving the... Nine. He's pushing into a jump shot. Yeah. And also, he wanted to free up the three, so in case he makes the absolutely. jump, absolutely. Like, that's crazy how they their thought process is like five different things in one. So he may, if he if he makes the one, the rack is open. So, so there was more to it than just jumping or just pushing into a jump shot. Swishes it, bumps into you the jumped two. Jumped that really well, left yourself a two-six combo. And you have to pass that back if you're Skyler. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, someone pushes out to a jump, even if it's. I rarely see people taking it, like no matter how easy it looks. So I don't fault Skyler for passing it back. You know, I don't either. If it was me, I think I would go for the jump, just because. I don't. I don't know if I'm getting back to the table if I don't take that shot. The eight ball is kind of big here, but I don't think that it'll come into play as well as he's been shooting. And the eight ball came into play. Sorry, Mr. Gore, didn't mean to jinx you. Let's go, Sky. <laughs> and you know as well as he jumps, this is out in the middle of the table, though. Yeah, you got to do some stretching. I don't know if you can quite reach it. I think the kick is the play here. 
Looks like he's kicking one round. Uh, now, are you kicking for accuracy to make, or are you kicking for a full contact and maybe hitting it in one of the other pockets? He looks like he went for the make. He went all out make there, and oh, and Skyler gets a trip back to the table with a hanging three ball. Yes, and Skyler's fortunate right now, and he wants to avoid contact with these balls, but he should be fine. He will capitalize on this. Or at least he wants to. The the finals, I am not sure if it's a, a, a double race or one long one. I am not sure. I'll find that out later. So Sky should even things up here. We'll see what happens. Let's wait until he actually completes the run out. Let's not jinx our American boy. But I think you can go ahead and call it now. Now, now it's safe. Now it's safe. The day ball was was a hard shot. Two to two. So it'll even the score up here. Fedor Gorst and Sky Woodward playing for the hot seat at the uh, Open Nine Ball Tournament here at the Pub. Uh, brought to you by some sponsors. We've got Bob's Lounge. We've got uh, Premier Tax Solutions. For all your tax needs. Now, Fedor, well, let's get a little Fedor did, did comment earlier and said that uh, he thought that the balls were racking perfectly on this table. Well, he hasn't missed a wing ball yet, of course. And we've, we've had some other people not thinking that maybe but um, Fedor says they're racking perfectly and he does make that ball every time here's where everything yes. gets a little tricky and brought in some complaints with some other players is whenever the balls are in there and then stuff gets kinda yeah you know if the hit ball's off you know you can snug that but what people are worried about is not just snugging that, but pushing it enough. Well, it's moving the that wing it, balls. It moves That's your what, wing balls out, absolutely. So now the three ball has a small chance of going into the corner pocket. And it goes straight in. But with being, you know, and it's just part of rack your own, you know. Um, let's see here. He, I believe, has a shot. I think he does. One. I can't tell. Yeah. Yes, if you're playing the pull-up game on your phone, this ball definitely goes. So, but what do you do for this too? Do you you play to the rail and I, hit that eight ball? I think you have to try to go into the eight, and I think these guys are so accurate with the cue ball, it's not going to be that big of an issue if you can just hit it square in the face. At like just like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Four. As long as he avoids the the seven ball altogether, the, he shouldn't have any issues with the four. And I think, yeah, this is a little tricky shot. Yeah, yeah it is. Looks like he's using some high right to just come up table. He may try to go straight into it. Ooh, he bumps the five, which he did not want to do, and avoids the scratch. So now he possibly <laughs> let's take a look to see if this uh, four ball goes. Now here's where you would want to try to look and see if it goes in the corner. If it doesn't, the playing the nine here is a little risky. Yeah, see, Dan, you you have the right idea. Dan has his actual pull shaft lined up with the overhead view to see if it goes clean without hitting the nine. And what have you come up with? I've come up with, I think he's going to play the nine ball on a side. Mm, by where he's pointing his cue? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and he may be playing two things here. He may be playing that four in the corner off the nine and the nine in the side. So if he's going nine ball here, you play it with speed <laughs> and maybe slop it into another pocket or you just dice and easy? I, I, 
makes it like he makes yeah. both. Yeah, that's and I thought that's probably what he was doing. He was he wanted to to see both those balls in case one of them didn't go. That's okay here. Skylar to break. Now I've got a feeling we're gonna see Skylar make sure that head ball's tight too. But he doesn't do a, a whole lot of like tapping and bumping and all that stuff. So like last time uh, Skylar broke the wing ball bobbled and did not go in. But he he looked at it and he likes it, so let's keep an eye on the three. Mm, same thing. But he avoids the scratch on the break, but he breaks dry with it. Leaves, I believe, a shot on the one. Yeah, I think it cuts. Well. It's very close. Maybe not. But I don't see how you can play a safe on it, though. But it looks like he's shooting at it. He is playing safe. And I think he's left a window. Here's the one thing I'm surprised. And I don't think it matters that it's on a bar table, but a lot of these safeties these guys have been playing, they're not freezing the ball. Like, maybe it's because, like, this Evansville tournament's not as big as something like these huge international tournaments. But I, when I when I watch guys like Skyler and Fedor play normally, they, they, no. play, they play safeties like that where they're free. They're, they're you know, gluing the ball to the outside yeah. ball. Like, that's the kind of safety I'm used to seeing from and, Skyler and, and other guys. I don't know that that's touching. So he may still be able to go the side rail. But it's rail. still better than if he right. was, you know, six inches away from the ball. We'll see. I think he can still go the side rail and down for that one. Looks like a two-rail uh, kick Apparently he cannot. Made it. Wow. And he's not rewarded. Unfortunately, it looks like he needs to get his jump cue out. Or just kick it in. I mean, after that last after kick, that, you might, you as might as well just, just keep kick kick kicking it. balls. You know, why, yeah. would you, why would you go away from what you're good at? And it looks like the jump cue is out. Is it? It is. But he jumps with a full cue, I, I believe. He might. Is there a shot that this guy doesn't like? Maybe this one. Uh, where the four's at and makes banking the three and coming back for the four a little tricky. So do you play the combo? You know, you might play a carom. I, I, I still think he's probably going to go like with the, the bank. Yeah. I like the combo myself. I don't think the combo is too hard. The cue ball should stay down here. The three ball stay down here. It looks like he's playing the bank. Might be playing a safe and hugging the cue ball behind the seven. No, he's playing your shot. The carom and he missed. It was a two way. Yeah. He banked the three also. But this is a break that Skyler needed. You definitely didn't want to go down two racks with the other guy breaking. So he definitely, this definitely, that miss was huge. It was, and I think he played the carom because it naturally brought the three over to the side pocket for his next shot. Oh, sorry. But right now, these guys are balling like mofo pros. What do you think? I mean, these guys are both definitely nines. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but with me being a seven, I wouldn't get a very big spot from him. I don't think I would like it in an APA nine ball race. I'm not sure I'd get to 10. Skyler gets a big break that right, because after the two shots that Gorst made, like, what can he miss? Like, if you were to yeah, rank those yeah. three shots in order from difficulty from easiest to hardest, that carom had to be the easiest of the three shots, you know? You know, I don't know about the that. The table length jump, like, you think that was the easiest, easiest shot? 
I think his break probably. No, I'm talking about the, the you know, he made the two trick shots in a row and yeah. then the carom. I'm saying I'm surprised he missed the carom because I thought that was the easiest of the three. Or was it a bank on the three? The, yeah, I think it was Ooh. both. I think he was playing both. We'll see what he does here. Watch these wing balls. No, this rack will be the first time today that the five ball does not go straight into the corner. Never mind, sorry. I tried, I tried Skyler. I couldn't jinx it. So this shot will be interesting. Um, Bobby Hall tells me that he will give me the call seven, but I am actually retired from pool. Even if I were still playing, I would not accept the seven from you playing nine ball because I haven't heard of anybody I don't think anybody can one. beat Bobby Hall in this in the tri-state area. I don't. He did tell me that you ducked him last night, which oh. I don't blame you. You know, like because you're in a bad game with him, so you made a smart decision. So let's He's... get back to this match before you get too riled up with Bobby Hall. So does he have a? I think is he, he playing cuts this. Six? I think he cuts this clean. Oh, I was totally wrong. He plays it off the six ball, and will he get rewarded with a shot on the three? Oh no, he's on the two ball. I'm having trouble like telling the difference between the two and the four. They are very similar on our monitor here we're watching this on. So, but it looks like a fairly easy safety you can play. Just feather the top of it. Great shot. Yeah. So this guy's got to kick into this, and what it does is, that was a good shot. I mean, because what it does is, it opens those balls up. Yeah, but I think Fedor is favorite to cut this in. The three's kind of out in the middle of the table. He goes for the safety. Another That's safety. surprising. I thought he would, uh, I don't know. He knows his game. He knows a lot more about this than I do. But I, I would have, with where the three was, I, I would figure he would have shot at it. Mm. He got an. Un, I'm not sure if that was an unlucky double kiss because I'm not sure the two was going to be able to hide anywhere. It was going to go straight up table. I think it might have helped him if anything because now this shot's a little tough. Yeah, Sky really jumped up and shot that a little fast. I think, but I mean, Sky's a Sky's a fast player. Now, I don't know who's favored in this match, but I can tell you that um, Sky is the... Do we have uh, our second missed ball? Nope. Sky is what? Sorry. Sky is the person that everyone in the community here is rooting for. Well, he gets a little unlucky and he's hooked. See, like, he took that shot on, but the shot he passed up earlier and played safe on, I felt was easier than that one. But what do I know? Um, looks like a kick on the three. Looks like it. So here's another kick where he probably won't hit a hard where like players such as ourselves would just hit pretty hard to try to make it in the side. But if, it, if we miss in the side, it goes in somewhere else. But I think he hits this at a soft pace. To Unless just play. he's going to kick for a safe here. Nope. He just went straight make and he gets now, no reward for a great kick. He doesn't. Kick and that's going to get Sky back up. With ball in hand. And... I mean, if you just watch Sky, there's there's no nerves at all. This guy was the MVP of the Moscone Cup, and I don't think anything really gets to him. He's gonna, if he wins this tournament, he's a he'll be the MVP of the the Dan Cup. Absolutely. That that scratch was huge because now he'll go up one game and have the break. Skyler Woodward takes the lead for the first time this match. And a great finish. Actually, he won the first round. A I'm great sorry. finish in that game by Sky Woodward. And I have just been informed yes. that Ryan McIntyre has scalped another top player. Did Ryan win against Nate? Is that? Yes. That was a grueling match. If that just got over because uh, 
when I left, I believe the score was five to three, Nate McGahey's favor. He won on the hill, seven six. And what's crazy about that is that's a battle. And if this will probably get back to Mickey, but Mickey had a very makeable nine ball against Ryan last night in the loser side, hill mm -hmm. hill, and Mickey barely hangs it up. So Ryan has made this crazy run through the loser side when it all could have been over with last night. So, um, good job to Nate. Nate had a had a pretty pretty good tournament. He's always a threat to win any tournament he plays in. This guy's got his groove going right here. It's a great break. Mm. I was looking at the bracket. What? How? Who did Skyler break dry, or did he miss the two? Uh, no, he didn't break dry. It actually appeared that that ball skid. It really looked like it on the video that that ball skid on him, just for uh, a couple inches when he first hit right. it. And it Yikes. hung up in the pocket. It's unfortunate. I don't foresee any problems here for Fedor. Which this will probably tie it up again. You are probably right. Four to four. And a great finish in that game by Fedor. Fedor Gorse with the break. That's where that coin flip comes into play. So, essentially right now, this is a race to three. A race to three, alternate break. <laughs> Everyone's pulling for majority of people pulling for Skylar Woodward but with this alternate break format and it with Fedor getting there's a little push let's see now that I mean it's just got to be rough to fade you know you're watching your opponent and you know what he's doing and you know what's coming you just got to hope there's a random kick of the cue ball somehow he can't see the one because you I mean this Eight, as sure as the sun's coming up tomorrow, is going right in the corner. And the one's coming down. And it looks like the two. Wow. Well. Unless he just hangs one of these balls up. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have any trouble balls. Hangs one up or miscues or... <laughs> I would say the four to the five is pretty tricky for me. Not him. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, anything could happen here. Four straight in, five straight in. Only thing we can really hope for is that he gets dead straight on the six, which he's not gonna even come close. He's not even messing with that side rail. Um, if he completes this, he'll earn himself another break and run patch. It looks like he's he's gonna get another patch. I think it's yeah, it's two for him. It puts Fedor up a game. Well, I know the last couple times Skylar has broken that wing ball has rattled, but also Skylar has not been manipulating the head ball at he, all. He hasn't. So let's see if he changes that up right now. You know, like he's been letting Mr. Gorse do it, so. There is no touching of the rack.
also the last few times that he has broken the balls, the wing ball has Let's bobbled see what happens. in the pocket. It has. It does not go. Where are you trying to get it? Oh. Hey, Mick. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can get back and break any records. What's the record? I got a thousand last bit. Right at a thousand. Really? Yeah, Pat said, Pat at that point, the most I ever had was like 300. And, uh, so wow. I was like, I'll start getting people to share it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, so I got past Pat and TJ's. Uh, Pat's got like 350. Pat said, I ain't back to 400. I mean, I just, and I had so many pros watch it. I just kept telling them to share, share, and I got them to talk about. Now, Mickey Hammond's here in the booth with us right now uh, on cue, and he's running this tournament. And this is their stream. So you guys need to like it, and you need to share it with your friends. Um, I know you're watching, but go ahead and share it on your page, too. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that want to see this kind of action. And this is great, and this is here in Evansville, Indiana. And we've got great matches coming up still. But well, right now, I mean, none greater than Fedor Gorst and Skyler Woodward right here in Evansville, Indiana. And they're battling it out here. Yeah, Fedor played a great safety off of him. He made a ball, but this all came from Skyler's dry break. And with no real problems here, it looks like. Mr. Gorse will be breaking on the hill. On the hill. Uh, he's gonna just look at this. I think the side pocket's kind of big here, but I don't think he'll even come close to it. He'll just draw away from it. Good shot. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't hit that any better. Like, I imagine this is what Johnny Archer looked like when he was 18. Yeah, I mean, Fedor's cue ball control is really, really reminds me of you, Derek. Yeah, but I'm great with the cue ball. It's just making the object ball. You know, you have to do both. I can put that cue ball anywhere. And the first player has reached the hill. And now the cue ball hasn't stopped I mean, rolling, so there was a chance he could scratch, but it didn't happen. I'm really surprised that, you know, Skyler's not doing a little something with the one ball. He's completely just, oh, it's just got to be tough to watch. I don't know. So that puts Fedor Gorst six to four. Uh, he's breaking on the hill here. Here it comes. Now, see the, there, now here it is again. Here comes the tap. Excuse me. So, Dan, well, I have a I, question. What I would like to do here, go ahead with your question. Can I put up a hundred dollars to your ten that he makes <laughs> the four ball in the corner? Um, no. Okay, go ahead with what you're I'm saying. pretty sure it's going to go. I would love to to actually see that rack right now. You know, just to have the chance to inspect that. I've heard this song like three times today, and then I love it. Sorry to get off track, but um, and I'm not trying to say anybody's doing anything wrong. I would just love to inspect it, um, just for my learning, just to see. You know, rack them tight, it, and then just right. push the one ball back so it, it it 
pushes the corner, the, the wing ball is just a tad. I bet you break and run the racks. Going full offense here or two way? Mm. A little bit. Yeah, I think that was a two way there. But now, what do you do with the two ball? Well, I don't know. Skyline needs a break here. Like we need it. We need. We need just an error by Fedor here. You know, he may play this into what that seven and play it safe. Uh, hide that two behind the five, you know, keep right. on one yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I think he, I, that shot's tricky because I think if you touch any piece of the five, you might scratch. Um, well, I don't think he hits. I think he just sends the two. Well, we're going to find out. Could he, he be playing the five? That. He may be banking that cross side. He's playing cross two quarter, way, what I meant. And Sorry. he gets straight in on the three. Good shot. No matter whose team you're on here, you have to give credit sometimes. Now, Dan, check to make sure he has a foot on the ground here. That's a good point, Derek. We probably should have somebody watching. Yeah, it's, it's too late now. We can't go back. Oh, ouch. That was the loudest noise. He comes around all the balls pretty safe, and he gets kind of tricky on the six here, but I think he can just roll forward with no issues. And with where the eight is laying, if he gets straight in, it's probably better. I don't think he really wants an angle on the shot. He wants to get as straight as possible. And he does. I personally would become a big fan if he would play for the bank on the nine. Hey, what if he plays for bank on his eight? Big bank tournament coming up. No better time to practice than now. Uh, with as good as that's, a yeah, that's not exactly what he wanted. I don't think. Right, and I th like I think he, with Skyler having a skid earlier, he might have that in the back of his head. But I think he's just gonna play to make it and leave himself a long nine ball. No, he goes around the table. Good shot. Yeah, like and like I was saying before, you rarely see these guys slow roll a ball up. I mean, they would rather you know use those rails and come out. We have so, our hot seat winner. That's right. Fedor Gorst in the hot seat. So, uh, Skylar Woodward will move to the uh, one loss side, and I, he will be waiting I have for a, um, the winner between Ryan McIntyre, and he will play the winner of the Chris Austin-Randy Johnson match.